one of my favourite musicals is the fantastic Les Mis, and I'm very, very fond of the most recent musical film. But I was quite curious to explore some non-musical versions of the story, and this led me to watching the 1998 version, which had a lot of positivity surrounding it. This has a rating of 7.4 out of 10, and, you know, that's very, very respectable. It's not massively long, it's just over two hours, which, considering... Well, I was going to say considering the length of the book, but the book, you know, spends about a third of itself talking about the sewers in France... But I think the length of it and the way it gives the narrative, the way it uh, develops the narrative throughout is very effective. So this is directed by Billy August, written by Raphael Iglesias, of course, based on the novel by Victor Hugo. And obviously I knew I would never like this as much as the musical version. I, you know, I, the musical version for me is just one of the most beautiful things to have ever existed. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I was still quite excited to actually watch the story unfold. And I wondered how how I would engage with such a dark and depressing narrative without this beautiful music. And this film is gorgeous. And it is engaging. And it does tell the story very well. And I'll, I'll use the musical film with uh, Helena Bottom Carter and Anne Hathaway as, as a point of reference. That film, compared to this one, is definitely not as depressing. I'd say it's more likely to make you cry because the music is emotional, but with this one, it is definitely a lot darker and that works very well. I say it's probably got the mood of the novel a lot more than the musical version. But in terms of the narrative and the bits they focus on, the key plot points are all there. If you don't know what this is about, well, there's an inter- there's a kind of one line summary on Wikipedia, and I think this is pretty. Uh, it sums it up quite nicely. The storyline follows the adult life of Jean Valjean, an ex-convict paroled following 19 years of hard labor. He stole a loaf of bread. Pursued. I, I apologize for that. He pursued uh, pursued by Inspector J- Javert, and fun fact, it was filmed in Prague, and. Well, I, I don't really know how much detail to go into because Les Mis is one of those things where it's so complicated and there are so many threads and so many different characters that I want to talk about that it's kind of, you have to watch it. But basically we have a rev- re- re- revolution, a revolution. We have a young mother who has to let her child live with, well, the Tenardiers. And then we have Jean Valjean who stole a loaf of bread and whose life is now very different 19 years after he was arrested. Definitely, I mean, if you don't know the story of Les Mis, I'd say please watch the musical first because I'd be worried that if you watched this and found it too dry or depressing, you might be put off, by the, put off watching the musical. But if you are familiar with the story, absolutely watch this. It's a really great way to enjoy the story in a new way. And we have a really great cast as well. Liam Neeson is Jean Valjean, which, uh, I don't know, I mean, to me, Hugh Jackman is always going to be Jean Valjean. The the musical film cast, for me, because I've seen it so many times, those are the people in my head. But I I think the casting here was pretty spot on as well. So Neeson is Jean Valjean, Geoffrey Rush is Javert, Uma Thurman is Fantine, which worked really well, Claire Danes is Cosette, uh, Hans Matheson, who I'm not familiar with, um, played Marius, and uh, Gillian Hanna and John Kenny played the Tenardiers. I really like the Tenardiers in this. They have a very similar role to what they do in the musical version. It it works really well. You know, the costumes are fabulous. The set designs are just spot on. And while I personally didn't think it was quite as emotional as the musical version, it still brought a tear to my eye, and it's still very powerful. If you like Les Mis, definitely watch this. If you've never seen Les Mis, I, I, I would suggest checking out the musical first, but that's just because I'm a big musical fan anyway. But either way, if you want to enjoy Les Mis, the 1998 film is definitely a good one to go with.